So recently I've been making a lot of videos about Insta360 products and no, for the last time, I am not being sponsored by Insta360. I wish that they sponsored me because I do like their products and if they would send me free cameras and stuff like that, that would just be awesome. Love these things. So recently I've been mostly using the Insta360 Ace Pro. I think this is a fantastic camera and I've been sort of criticizing GoPros. I've been sort of saying that GoPros have sort of lost their edge, that the company has to really step up. And then one day I was going on a hike with my wife and our dog, and I decided to bring both of these cameras and do some comparison shots and to see whether or not the GoPro is as bad as I thought it, it was compared to the Ace Pro, you know, because I, I haven't been using the GoPro Hero 10 in like six months or so. Ever since I got the Ace Pro, this has been used a lot. So I wanted to compare these two cameras. I wanted to see what the fuss is all about inside my head and just give you a fair uh, idea here, which camera actually shoots better videos and photos. And the results kind of shocked me. I was checking pixel peeping on my computer screen, you know, really zooming in and checking out the differences. Now, this is the, the latest GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero 10, which I think is pretty much equivalent to the GoPro Hero 11 and 12. Basically the same chip, basically the same image quality. No, it does not have log and, and all of that. But, you know, I still think it's pretty much the same image quality. So I wanted to compare these two cameras and the result was the GoPro wasn't actually that bad. And when I showed these comparison shots to my wife, she actually preferred the GoPro image. And me, I personally just preferred the Insta360 Ace Pro. Now, I should also mention that there are these different color profiles on the Ace Pro. I think that on the GoPro, I just used like auto, but on the Ace Pro, I used vivid colors. I like vivid colors. And so naturally, I really enjoyed the Ace Pro a lot more. But actually, the GoPro didn't do bad at all. It was actually pretty good. And when I compared most of the shots, I noticed that, you know, audio quality was pretty much on par. Uh, colors were good. Um, image stabilization was good on both of these cameras. I couldn't tell which one had better image stabilization. Maybe you can by watching these clips. I certainly couldn't. But the biggest difference, the thing that I noticed immediately is that you definitely got more details and the highlights on the Ace Pro. You always got a blue sky, whereas with the GoPro, sometimes it could just be white, just completely white. And I was sort of playing around with different settings and stuff like that because I thought I messed it up. But no, actually, the GoPro seems to be focused on, well, not the highlights anyway. But the Ace Pro, it got me a bit suspicious. And I saw in some shots where I was like, dude, the sky was definitely not blue in that shot. But still, the Ace Pro managed to whip out some blueness. So I'm starting to think that there could be some AI manipulation with the skies. But don't quote me on this. I'm not sure. Uh, still, the image looks great. And I still prefer the Ace Pro imagery. And But it, it made me think that Image quality, you know, when you compare different camera brands, whether it's a Sony or a Canon, uh, you know, a lot of people are talking about Canon colors, skin tones especially, and Sony being oversaturated and uh, skins look very orange. They just don't know how to do faces. Uh, personally, I think Sony colors are great. I like shooting in log. I think the image is looking great when I use it at least. But... With the Ace Pro, I, I definitely noticed that the skin colors can be a bit harsh, almost reddish and almost a bit too detailed. And so the GoPro was actually a bit more preferred there. Uh, maybe not so much in the color area, but sort of liked the image a lot better on the GoPro. It was a bit more soft and I just liked it. When it whereas the Ace Pro was a bit more harsh, you know, in the detail area. Uh, even though I had sharpening set to low, on the Ace Pro, so go figure. Uh, but my point is this, 
the better image quality like is there a thing as better image quality from a camera you know i think it's a matter of preferences you know there are some people if we compare smartphones for example there are some people who just prefer samsung vivid colors and there are some people who just prefer iphone colors in the video or photo department and when i'm comparing these two cameras i prefer the ace pro but i'm not necessarily saying that the GoPro has bad image quality. And that's a very important distinction that I'm making here, that it's not really about which one has the better image quality. It's about which one, like, which, what preferences do you have? Do you prefer this one or do you prefer this one? So, you know, you let me know, did you enjoy the image quality of the GoPro or the Ace Pro? Like the results will vary. I can promise you that. Now, I also want to mention that while I do think that the image quality on the GoPro is actually very good, the Ace Pro is a bit more versatile when it comes to two things. First of all, it is the flip out, which I've mentioned a bunch of times. The flip out screen is just so good. And I'm not just talking about this from a perspective as a vlogger where I can see myself on a bigger screen. I'm also talking about the fact that you can lower your camera, look down, and you get a better grip and you don't have to walk like this. And so I think that the flip out screen is an essential feature of the Ace Pro. And another thing that I, I just feel I, I have to mention is that once the sun is gone, like on a nice sunny day, both cameras give great image quality regardless of what preferences you have. But as soon as you start filming and taking pictures in the shadier parts of the woods, uh, the GoPro really struggles. There is a lot more noise and it's not just the noise, but it's also the image stabilization. The image stabilization definitely gets worse in low light situations on the GoPro. On the Ace Pro, it can definitely hold its own in low light situations. Now, obviously it's not as good as a full frame Sony ZV-E1, but very impressive for an action camera. And I would not hesitate a second to bring this with me on an evening on the town, you know? So just to make that clear that the Ace Pro is still, for me at least, a preferred camera. But the GoPro is definitely not bad. I really like the GoPro. And I'm actually excited about the GoPro Hero 13 when it gets released in September and I really hope that they step up the game and give me features that will make me want to buy the GoPro Hero 13 but the GoPro Hero 10 is still a good product and that's why I still have it I still enjoy using the GoPro I had just forgotten how good it actually is because I've been playing around so much with the Ace Pro Anyway, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this little video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.